Hey guys, welcome back. So Samsung is breaking all the boundaries by developing new tech hardware where the next gen Samsung devices like S23 Ultra will take full advantage of these tech features. Moreover, Samsung is also set to bring a new higher megapixel sensor in order to improve the camera performance for future smartphones. Now before we jump into the video, I want to say that if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to get more daily updates and give a like if you enjoy watching this video. So recently Samsung announced its latest generation high speed storage for the mobile tech industry which is the UFS 4.0. This new storage will help to improve the speed of many devices like tablets, mobile phones and for some laptops. This new innovation will lead the flagship smartphones to another level because of its double bandwidth speed compared to UFS 3.1 with up to 23.2 GB per second speed per lane. This is totally powerful for next in smartphones and AR VR products. Here are the read and write speeds for both the UFS 3.1 and new UFS 4.0. You can see the massive difference between them which is more than double. Now UFS 4.0 will definitely help the S23 Ultra to load the application faster while giving a smoother performance. The mass production of this storage will begin in the third quarter of 2022 means it will not be featured inside the upcoming Z Fold series. But yes, the S23 series will undoubtedly get this storage and will have some smoother performance along with new custom CPU. Moving on, according to a latest report, Samsung is currently developing a new high megapixel sensor which might be used for future smartphones. This new sensor will be a 200 megapixel HP3 which will be a successor to the older 200 megapixel HP1 camera. It is very shocking that older HP1 sensor didn't even debut on any smartphones yet except a one phone, the Motorola Frontier, which also not even launched yet and Samsung is already working on its upgraded version. Although this new 200 megapixel HP3 camera could come to the S23 Ultra as a primary shooter and if this happens then it might be a huge success or it might be a total waste. Because these type of high megapixel sensor need high optimization and it took Samsung 3 years to fully optimize the 108 megapixel camera on the S22 Ultra. And now let's see how much time this new 200 megapixel camera will take. So that is it in this video guys, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you feel about this new sensor? And also if you enjoy watching this video then do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel as well. I'll catch you in the next one, till then, peace out.